Hello, my kako, Kahuendo Davis. Happy Easter, everyone. I've got a, a stone. In Hawaiian, we call it pohaku, sort of like the Great Wall behind me. Pohaku, a, a stone which was used for the foundation of Hawaiian people, especially for their homes and the hale, and different areas of, of all their agriculture, as well as ahu, like in ahu pua'a, where they would also use this, these stones as a shrine, also as well, or as a marker. And when we go to the Gospel of John, chapter 11, we find that Jesus has been summoned because Martha and Mary, their brother Lazarus, is very gravely ill. Jesus receives that word. Lazarus already passes, but also now the sisters are really upset when he arrives to their home. Martha comes out to confront Jesus and ask him why did he take so long because our brother is already dead. Jesus already has a plan that God had already set before for the great glorification that he will have in raising Lazarus from the dead. Martha reminds us of ourselves sometimes. We doubt Jesus and Jesus reminds her that he is the resurrection and the life. They lead themselves to the place of the burial and there they see the stone, the pohaku. And Jesus commands Martha to move the stone. And she speaks to Jesus to let him know that I don't think you really know what's going on here, Jesus. My brother has been dead for four days. In other words, it's beginning to smell in this area if I move this stone. Sometimes that reminds us of us, even as believers in Christ, that we doubt instead of just move the stone. Listen to what God is saying in his word instead of contemplating and giving our own opinions. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. So are you seeking the Lord? The stone of doubt is part of us too as well. Yet Jesus said, you will have trouble, but don't worry, I've already overcome the world. We need to remember those words. When you're up on that stone, Whatever stones in your life that needs to be moved, whatever stones perhaps is right now blocking you from your victory, who are we with right now when we're with the Lord? And when he said, I have already overcome the world, it really means don't worry about it. I love you and I will help you through. So if we have the stone of doubt in ourselves, let's move that out of the way because Jesus was, has greater plans for us. And as we remember, when the stone was moved, he called Lazarus out from the dead, and God was glorified. The second pohaku, or the stone, is the stone of victory. Satan must have been really furious. He must have been pretty ticked off because of that stone. Resurrection is distinctively special because only Jesus rose from the grave. For those of us that may have lost a loved one, they need the comfort of God's word. Remember that in the resurrection, we have life everlasting. We're not going from the land of the living to the land of the dying. You're actually going from the land of the dying to the land of the living, as one of my pastor friends had also shared with me. The assurance of eternal life is so wonderful that God says that when time is called by me, we no longer live in this earthly time, but we'll always live forever. The message of that is that in the resurrection, there is hope and no fear. God has smashed death. It has no sting, according to the Bible. And we can know that we have that victory to live on with Christ. Today's message with you in this Easter is to know that let's not doubt with the stone of doubt, but know that he's already overcome the world. Whatever trouble you have, God will see you through. And then let's remember the stone of victory. Remember too, you're not going from a position for victory. You have the victory in you already because of what Jesus did. You're a blood bought, totally forgiven child of God. And with that, you can have the assurance that victory is yours. I want to wish you 
a happy Easter and blessed Easter. I mauku ka loko mai kai o ka haku o Yesu Christo. A me ke aloha o ke akua. A me ka launa puana mai ka uhane he molele me a kakua pao. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you and me now and forevermore. Amen. Happy Easter, everyone. Aloha.